Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so sorry it's been such a long time since I last vlogged. I think it might be three weeks of no vlogs, which for me is probably the longest I've ever gone without doing a vlog since I started up my YouTube channel, so bad. But uh, hopefully I will make up for it in the coming weeks. I have been extremely busy recently, hence the lack of vlogs, but hopefully I'll be able to put some things together for you guys before Christmas and then of course afterwards as well. This week is Christmas themed. I was going to do a lot of product reviews, but actually I am struggling to be able to find the time to be able to do all those product reviews. So instead I've put together a gift guide for you and the gift guide will be either uh, examples of things that you can buy for your family or maybe something that you'll want to send to your family so that they can buy things for you because actually weirdly although there are so many things throughout the year that I think of that I need as soon as it gets to writing my Christmas list I immediately forget what I need and what I want and then end up with nothing to tell my family about what I actually want and then I have to buy everything for myself come January. I've put together a little bit of a list and some of the things as well will be things that you can send directly to them so who knows what will happen this Christmas but if you can't see some of your family a lot of these things will be good gifts to give from afar rather than actually handing them over to someone directly so I'm gonna go through the list and I haven't necessarily done specific products from specific brands unless I've actually reviewed them myself because I feel slightly nervous about uh, suggesting products that I haven't actually tried but I will give examples of products then you can go and find the one that's kind of within your price point or from a brand that you know and that you trust I'm gonna start off with subscriptions and subscriptions are great to give because they're the kind of gift that literally keeps on giving and also you can choose for how long you want to give that subscription so two subscriptions that I would recommend is Strava I know I've spoken recently about Strava but you can give a subscription for a year and then that means that they have all the added benefits of a Strava subscription without having to then pay for it themselves and then they can decide if they want to continue that after the year is up and that has loads of benefits everything that I mentioned in the previous one but like finding new routes being being able to look at your training and how that's going, being able to look at your fitness. That is something that actually I was gifted initially and that was the reason that I ended up paying for the Strava subscription myself is because like after a year of having it I decided that actually I couldn't live without it. So then I ended up having that for a really long time. The second subscription that you could give to someone is a, a subscription to Runner's World or another sort of running magazine, whatever is in your country. I find flicking through a magazine to be incredibly relaxed and of course there's so much information that you can just get online but actually being able to sit down and take some time out and flick through a magazine of whatever subject interests you there's something special about that so you can get subscriptions to so many different magazines um, and obviously the magazine industry is also a slightly dying industry so it's good to kind of keep them afloat obviously in terms of sustainability there are sustainability kind of implications about that but if that's something that you think that someone would enjoy or that you yourself would enjoy then you can add that to your Christmas list right now. On to kit. There are so many, literally like limitless amount of kit that you can get for Christmas for a runner. It's just endless and to be honest, running kit is kind of always a good shout, but there are certain things that you'd want the person to be able to try on first before giving it to them. But things that you can kind of buy for someone without necessarily knowing too much about their shape or their size and what would fit them or work for them, the kind of things that are best to get for Christmas presents in my opinion. So things like running poles, brilliant idea, especially for someone who is taking on their first ultra marathons next year. Anyone who has an ultra marathon or long walk or anything like that planned will need running poles and I have added those to my own Christmas list. The next one is trail shoes. For anyone who took up running in lockdown, they're probably running in road shoes, but if they are running in traily places, then I would really recommend asking them if they need trail shoes. I think if anyone is running off-road, trail shoes are a great investment that can feel like maybe you don't want to buy them because you spend most of your time on the road um, but actually if someone else gets them for you then it feels like the right thing to do. I did an entire vlog about intro to trail running and you can see that if you by looking up here. Go and check out that vlog. I think I've put loads of suggestions in there about certain types of
of brands that do really great trail shoes. I wear the Columbia Calderado 3, but there are so many different great brands out there that do amazing trail shoes. So go and check that out if you're interested. And of course, all you need to know is their size. Most trail shoes can be raced out of the box and will be kind of comfortable for the majority of people. I feel like road shoes are a lot more structured and you definitely want a specific type of road shoe and you want to know how you run and you want to know like what suits you. Whereas for trail shoes, for some reason, I found all the trail shoes I've ever worn have been super comfy and work fine for me. So yeah, maybe there's something that's a little bit more generic that you can buy someone so long as you get a good brand. The next one is something that will be super helpful thanks to winter and the colder, darker evenings um, and that is a head torch. Head torches are so handy if you are doing night running or even um, at the moment like afternoon running. It is dark outside so having a head torch is super useful not only so that you can see things but also so that cars can see you. And I'm hoping to do a vlog on how to run in the dark, so including loads of gear, but I'm waiting to be able to test out that gear for myself so that I can give specific suggestions of specific brands. But a head torch in general is a really good idea. I know so many people have done reviews of different types of head torches, so there'll be something for kind of every different price point. I think you can get them for like 20 quid or you can get them for 150, 200 quid. So there'll be something for everyone out there and, and even just kind of a basic one will be useful if you're just kind of going around the block for an afternoon run or an evening run. The next piece of kit is stance socks. Every runner loves stance socks. Every runner that I know loves stance socks. They are not cheap but they are just so good and they prevent blisters and they're comfortable and they look great. They have something for everyone. Um, they are just kind of the perfect stocking filler or um, a little additional present for people and they have so many different types as well so depending on what you're doing whether you're hiking, you're running, or you're trail running, you want long socks, you want short socks, they have everything. And then another socks brand I've not actually tried but has been recommended to me many times is Teco. That's spelled T-E-K-O. They are a sustainable sock brand, great for runners, and yeah, they've been recommended to me loads of times. So if you're into sustainability, they might be a good option. Um, I think they make them from recycled materials like fishing nets. Um, so yeah, recycled fishing nets that then are also still super breathable and soft, of course, um, everything like that. Another one, the useful thanks to winter, is a running buff. I am obsessed with running buffs. I never used to wear them, and then I got given one from a race after after I finished it was part of the little kind of gift pack. I haven't stopped wearing it since. I have two of them. They are kind of things that go around here and you can also put them around your head and the great thing is that they keep your coldest parts warm so they keep your ears warm if you put them around your head but they keep your neck warm as well and if those things get cold then you can cool down really quickly but it means also if you get too hot you just take it off and you wrap it around your wrist and that's super easy and I take them on all of my long runs in winter. The lightest piece of of kit that can keep you the warmest other than maybe running gloves which are my next suggestion getting a good pair of running gloves is just so handy I mean I don't know about most people but I have freezing hands I mean they're cold at the moment I, I think I have Raynaud's it just means that they become incredibly painful if they get very cold and running gloves are not that expensive but again they're a really small piece of kit that makes a massive difference to winter running if you have someone in your life who has recently taken up running and does not have running gloves they are a great Great present suggestion. Next piece of kit is uh, perhaps for someone a little bit closer to you and that is Runderwear. Runderwear is a running underwear brand made for people who run but obviously perfect for all different types of activity. I wore them for the first time during my latest ultra marathon and they were extremely extremely comfortable. They look good, they feel very nice and so yeah go and check them out because um, you may not think that you need specific type of underwear for running but actually in terms of health health as well as comfort, it can be really beneficial and they obviously do men's and women's as well, so something for everyone. Back to the topic of night running, and again this is something that I will hopefully talk about later um, on a different vlog, getting things like reflective strips are quite a good idea, so they're just things that will go around your kit on your wrists and your ankles and they will basically alert cars to the fact that you are there, and of course you can get kit itself that has reflective strips on it, so for example I have this jacket here. This is a Brooks running jacket. It has reflective strips as well as bright yellow ones So you're super visible when you're running and those are great But they're a not cheap B sometimes the performance of the jacket is second to the how reflective it is so the performance might not be as good as your everyday rain or wind proof jacket and 
like I said, they're very expensive for a piece of kit that you're just wearing to be visible to cars. So by getting reflective strips for your ankles and your wrists, you can basically wear your normal kit along with that kind of thing so that you're visible to cars and keeping safe. The next one on that note is a Dynamo running light. And running lights, you can get them for running, you can get them for cycling, often they are kind of crossover between the two. They have no battery in them, so they're basically self-charging by the movement of you running. And I thought I came up with this idea literally the other day on a run. I was like, why do we use batteries when you can literally have things that you shake up and they light up? Anyway, it turns out it's a thing, it's called a dynamo running light and you can clip it onto a piece of clothing or a running belt or your bag. And it basically shows cars that you're there and it powers up through the motion of you running. Same with if you're cycling as well, it basically powers itself and adds a little bit of extra light and a little bit of extra safety. And that is a great idea for a present because obviously means that they're safer, but it's something that's relatively small and doesn't mean that you are making assumptions on the type of kit that they want to wear or anything like that. Okay, so this next suggestion is something that some people might take the wrong way, but I think I'd, I'd quite like it. It is wild deodorant, and you might think it's a little bit strange buying deodorant for someone, but A, runners need deodorant. We all need deodorant, really, but runners especially need deodorant. B, it's a very special kind of deodorant. Hang on, I've got mine here. There you go says my name on it. Wild deodorant. Ta-da! It's actually quite pretty. I wouldn't usually suggest deodorant as a Christmas present or even a stocking filler, but the great thing about this is that it is refillable, so it's sustainable, essentially. This is an aluminium case, and on the inside, you have refill things that you can add. The refills you order on subscription, so that's another idea, you can get a subscription for them, but they basically mean that you're not chucking out a whole thing of deodorant every month or couple of months or whatever and it's basically a sustainable alternative to your everyday standard deodorant that's in a plastic or a glass packaging that you then just chuck out. For example, my boyfriend's deodorant. This has to go in the bin. This little piece of packaging has to go in the bin whenever it's used up, which means that you're chucking out bits of plastic on a regular basis. Whereas when you get something like this, you keep this. You know, it's quite fancy, you know, you've got your name on it. You keep this packaging, the aluminium case, and then you order the refills. It also means that you can order the refills sort of regularly so you don't have to go out and buy new deodorant every single time. They have loads of different scents. It's, it, I think it's a really great idea. The refill things are all totally compostable as well so once they're done you just chuck them on your compost heap or out with your food waste and they will biodegrade um, perfectly easily as well so I think that's actually quite a nice thing, especially if you can engrave someone's name on it. I am working with them over on Instagram, but this isn't an ad itself. But that does mean that I have a 20% discount that I will put down below and hopefully that will work. And this last gift is a little bit different to all the rest of them. And it's something that I was recently gifted myself. I'm obsessed with this guy called Semi Rad, at Semi underscore Rad, I think, on Instagram. He does a lot of very funny drawings and graphics and stuff, often about running or cycling or being outdoors. He sells his own merch as well. so. So go and check out his merch but my favorite one is this it's the periodic elements of an adventure periodic table of the elements of an adventure and it has all sorts of different things on it so it's just a little wall print and something to put on your wall to get you excited for being able to go out and adventure again um, and hopefully we'll all be doing that very soon I absolutely love it I don't know why every time I look at it it makes me happy and it makes me excited to go outside and and get out and, and have a bit of an explore so I think it's something a little bit special it also obviously helps an independent seller rather than actually just buying things from Amazon which is obviously what a lot of us do when we're panic buying things but I think this one actually came pretty quickly in the post so yeah go and check out his website I will link all of these things below so that you can have a bit of a gander but as I said I haven't necessarily recommended specific brands for things that I haven't tried yet but there are so many different great outdoor shops that will have loads of suggestions for things so those are all of my little stocking filler suggestions I really hope you enjoyed it I'd love to hear what you are getting the running lovers in your life or what you're asking for for Christmas yourself I'm always interested also in sustainable presents because I think we quite often like I said panic by things that we don't necessarily think that someone will like but we feel like we have to get them something so there are there are loads of great gift suggestions out there that are a little bit more sustainable and contribute less to our environmental footprint and all that kind of stuff so please do comment them below let me know what your favorite of these suggestions is um, I'm always intrigued to see what people buy other people so and thank you very much for watching if you did enjoy it please do give it a thumbs up go and share it with your friends and tag me on Instagram if you share it on Instagram that's at food fitness flora hit the subscribe button because I promise 
promise you I will be doing more vlogs at some point soon. And I think that is it. Sending loads of love. Bye.